Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that I've made for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, please hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the notification button so that, that way you get notified of every new video that I make. Today we're going to talk about a new, well, not a new, it's been around for a while, but a gaming distro that I've never heard of. And I figured I'd do a review of it real quick because I just found it. And uh, let's see what that looks like. Before that, though, we're going to hunt. Do the do the intro. All right. So what we're going to be looking at right here is Draugr OS. This is the actual virtual machine that I've set up. It's got uh, eight gigs of RAM and six core processors. It's a gaming centric distro. It's based off of Ubuntu with a um, very customized XFCE desktop environment. The installer that it uses is not, I believe it's called Flutter for Ubuntu, um, but it is actually system back. And there are some issues that it looks different, so I'll take a look at it here in a little bit, but I just want to get the rundown real quick. First thing we're going to do is we are going to click on the whisker and we are going to type in display so that we could adjust this horrendous screen resolution to 1920 by 1080, uh, which is, I probably passed it somewhere in here. No, 2560 by 1080, right here. We're going to click apply. Uh, what I do like about it so far is that it's actually a nice dark theme. So this is the welcome menu that comes up with it. This, will, of course, you can go to the Draugr's website and it's, see how it's got these uh, accent highlights of uh, like red or whatever. It, it's kind of confusing, especially in the installer, but uh, language support, there's readme file. There is take the Draugr S tutorial, which I would, um, implore you guys to kind of do this uh, the bars on the top left bottom of your screen are desktop panels it's kind of giving you the layout of how everything works which i'll go over that real quickly for you so we'll click out of the tutorial uh if you want to uh, accessibility settings keyboard shortcuts so if you click on 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 the keyboard shortcuts um you're going to see Control alt t does terminal so you do Control alt t and there, there's your terminal, yada, 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 so that kind of stuff. These are all little quick launch shortcuts, so there's there's pretty cool stuff uh, for you to do there. I'm going to click back to get to this. Um, then there is find help, and then there's donate in case you want to donate, which, you know, I don't not ever say don't donate, especially to developers, uh, and also the additional drivers. So if you want to uh, install additional drivers, uh you can do open synaptic uh, all drivers already installed you can open up synaptic where you give it your password this is basically like um octopi and arch yada you know those kind of things uh gnf dragora in in um in uh fedora that kind of stuff so this is where you can install stuff all over the place uh so anyhow uh, there is that we're going to go back to this and that is your welcome screen. So it's nice that they have that across the top is your XFCE panel, which has your time in the middle. You got your whisker launcher here, which is basically where you can uh, actually do your power session here. And also you can find applications that you want to run, but they've got this nice little panel right here. That's on the side that we'll take a look at in a minute. Of course, this is your um, restore to the desktop, minimize all windows. Your date, if you click on it, there's your calendar. Uh, and then, of course, you got here your keyboard type, your connection type, your volume right here where you can adjust your mic volumes and stuff like that. Uh, notifications, you can turn on do not disturb, that kind of stuff. And then, of course, your user that you're logged into along with the power session. So there is that. Now, to note, as I said before, this distribution distribution is based off of Ubuntu, the LTS version. So it's pretty stable. It is a game centric distribution, but it is, it has some optimizations for gaming, but I necessarily wouldn't call it a hundred percent gaming distribution because it also is a viable desktop distribution for you to use. It just happens to have a lot of gaming stuff in it. Now it has game hub installed right here out of the box. 
uh, from the Synaptic Center, which allows you to download stuff. But it's also got the Heroic Game Launcher, Lutris, and of course, it has Steam installed. So now if you click on Game Hub, right, this actually lets you uh, install Steam, your uh, game, uh, GOG, your Humble Bundle, and your install itch.io from Game Hub. Return to Game Hub after installing. So I, I, I never really played with Game Hub too much because I'm not a hardcore gamer, but I find these distributions interesting that they install these instead of maybe installing each one itself I, I i don't know but either way uh that it has that installed so it that's what makes it game centric is because it comes pretty well preloaded you can install the actual the drivers as well the like nvidia those kind of things from you know the in, driver and supporter in there that's there it uses firefox obviously as it's you know docked here on this little side panel i'm launching it and it's taking forever to open um i don't know why there we go Firefox initial I wonder which one we're on so what we're going to do we're going to go here we're going to go to help we're going to see about Firefox and it is 110 wow you want to talk about outdated as hell Jesus yeah wow that is outdated maybe uh you know I probably need to run an update actually now that I think about it um so either way I'm not going to do the update for the sake of this video i want to keep it simple nice clean straightforward and neat and this is a first impression look at so it's nothing major uh so let's see what we've got installed uh file managers obviously going to be i believe thunar oh it's nemo sorry excuse me nemo my bad so it's going to be nemo which is once you've seen one file manager you've seen them all uh just as a point you know you hit control h and it unhides all your dot files and if you hit control h again your dot files are hidden again so uh there's just all of them do that uh terminal we already looked at it's xfce terminal the web browser is firefox although they have the uh i believe the xfce one which is firefox as well rebranded or named or whatever but anyhow so there's that uh, as far as accessories, when you look at accessories, you have, oh, they have Play on Linux installed. That is a front-end application for uh, Wine, uh, where you could uh, install games for, oh, wait, wait, I don't want to do that. No, no, close, cancel. There we go. Uh, I'm not trying to install anything right now, but I mean, you can install Wine and all kinds of different applications to, to work on there. It's an, It's been around for a very, very long time. All the Proton has pretty much so done all that kind of stuff. So uh, they, I think they've got G-Edit, or is it Mousepad for their text editor? Uh, I'm not sure. Might be, might be Mousepad. I'm, usually XFC comes with Mousepad. So there's that. Uh, they've got Compton, Wine Tricks installed, and they've got Pycom. So they're using Pycom with Compton to get you your wonderful uh, compositor. Uh, as far as games that are concerned, we've got Game Hub, ones that we already looked at. Uh, graphics is concerned. They have got Flame Shop for doing your screen capture, uh, your Image Viewer, and Image Image Magic for it's a display. Uh, and edit you know image files oh so it's i guess that's kind of like um a quick image editor photo editor nice former open undo restore quit so yeah they've got that i've never played with that so i don't really know what that is um internet Firefox, Steam, Multimedia, they use Audacious for the music player, they use Cheese for photos, Pavu, and then MPB, they, all great selections, I, I have no problem with that, it's wonderful. For They have a, a PDF and document viewer for Office and that's it, which is good. They've got the Dragora Welcome, which is that welcome screen we looked at, and under settings, of course, these are all your standard settings, additional drivers, Bluetooth, desktop preferences disk gnome di this is like gnome disks yep um they have also i'm sure you know the desktop editor the panel editor like they usually do display login window mouse tricks and touchpad panel profiles the panel itself customizing the panel so there you go under system you've got your software at a remove store which is probably going to be like the gnome store
Ooh, shoot. Yep, it's the gnome store. Um, so we go here to update something went wrong. Their following packages have unmet dependencies. Interesting. Updates. Freedom Desktop, Freedom Platform. So I'm not going to do it. Like I said, I'm not going to do the updates. But anyhow, there you go. Uh, so there's a store there. So you can check that out and do your updates. Um, they've got the Synaptic Package Manager. System Monitor, System Date. They have Time Shift. So if they have Time Shift, and this is using BTRFS uh, file system and not EXT4. So there's that system monitor. Let's fire that up and see how we're doing on resources. God damn. Make that big and see if we can make the text bigger. What? No, we cannot. So under resources, we'll go here. Hardly touching CPU. RAM, we're sitting at 18, for, yeah, one and a half gigs of RAM. Uh, it's standard, you know, on par for most for most things. So, yeah, um, there's that. And I don't think there was much anything else of note in there. Uh, yeah, that's about it uh, for, for that. Um, so that is kind of, uh, that is, that's a... Um, a quick view of overview and in first impression of Dragger OS. Is it something like Regatta or Dobara or Chimera? Eh. No, no, I, I, I wouldn't call it that. I wouldn't call it a gaming distro. I would call it a gaming centric distro, a true gaming distro. Steam OS, that's all it does. It has no other functionality at all. Chimera, same thing. Um, Regatta OS, a gaming distro, but has actual some desktop stuff on it. It's based off of OpenSUSE, that kind of stuff. But, but, but either way, Regatta is more of a gaming distro than this is, for sure. But it's still not like Steam or Chimera. Those, I think, are the two primarily, or Chimera, however you say it. Those are the two primary gaming distros. So that being said, guys, if you guys want to give this a try, please do. If you've tried it before and you had negative experience with it or positive experience with it, please leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys did with it and how it functioned for you. Also, if any thoughts that you have, please comment too. Also, you're more than welcome to come join us in our, in our Discord and discuss it. Uh, also, we are having on the 1st a uh community cast again on it's friday night it'll be uh 4 30 i believe is when we're going to start uh between 4 and 4 30. i want to say 4 30 is where we're going to start at so come join us there as it's kind of like dt's patreon cast only we do it from the uh, community the linux tube community discord and we just talk for hours it does does not have to be linux related could be linux related whatever you do you guys drive the conversation we're just there to hang out and just chill so either way, you guys keep doing what you do. Keep on Linux and stay blessed, stay happy. And above all, I will see you in the next one. Bye.